here with Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. I'm Blake Suniga, and it's good to have you with us. Our starting lineups, a look at the matchups here and who we'll see for our starting five for both teams. are two teams that move the ball extremely well, Tim. Now, this is a matchup for the purest, Blake. I mean, if there's one thing that sets the WNBA apart from other leagues, it's just the tremendous ball movement and passing. We've got the cream of the crop here, and it is not just the passing. Expect incredible movement off the ball on both sides. Now here's Agumbawale. Sabali the screen. The 11-footer. Her first shot is a miss. So for one to start the contest. Pass to Gray. Howard with the ball. Guarded now by Agunga Wale. He's screened by Coffey. Here's Gray. Up top, Jones. Guarded by Sabali. The drive by Alicia Gray. Rejected by Tierra McCowan. And that'll be Atlanta's ball as it goes out of bounds. Green able to keep the ball here. Here's Parker. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. And we're about one minute into the first. Akunda Wale from long range. That's in, and she found her range with that one. Now one for two. Well, we know Agumba Wale has the shooting touch, and she's more than comfortable extending her range. Outside Howard. Jones. Shot clock at five. Here's Howard. Misses off the right iron. Well, she didn't have a hand in her face, so I thought she was for sure going to marry that. Well, in terms of Atlanta, the future of this franchise has to be Ryan Howard, the first overall pick of the 2022 draft. Howard is a dynamic player. And stolen by Gray. They're moving it up. Sabali with the steal. Agumba Wale with it. And it's Howard picking her up. That one drops for her. And for the dream, Ryan Howard hit the ground running in her rookie season. In her first week in the WNBA, Ryan Howard was the Eastern Conference Player of the Week. It had been 20 years since a rookie won the honor in their opening week. From the jump, Ryan looking like a franchise-level player. Yeah, remember that. And that's not an opportunity. She fails to convert very often. Her shot is good, making her a perfect two for two from the floor. A few more points added to the lead. They might be ready to pull away. It wouldn't I'm surprise I'm me I'm with as good as they're looking at the moment. Absolutely right, Brian. They're looking really strong. And the dream call time here.
on defense, Dallas. Outside, Howard. Gray, pass to Jones. And here's Howard. To end the run! It's rebounded by Savali. Dangerfield with it. Working on Jones. The shot by Dangerfield, no good. The dream trail. And here is Jones. Outside, Parker. Gray. Five on the clock. Here's Howard. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And if you're Howard's teammates, you gotta appreciate how hard she hits the boards. And right now, she's looking real active on the offensive class. Now here's a Google Wale. The shot from the low post is good. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. In just her second year in the league, Arike Ogunbowale won the scoring title during the 2020 Wubble season, averaging just about 23 points per game. Gray with it, and McCowan picks her up defensively. Here's Jones. Doesn't go for her. Good D by Natasha Howard. Outside, Agumo Wale. Pass to Dangerfield. The tray. Green with the rebound. Now to win that scoring title in 2020, Agumo Wale turned it on down the stretch of that season. Yeah, over the last four games, Arike averaged just about 30 points per game holding off that year's MVP in Asia Wilson. Arike leading the league in points at just 23 years old. What an accomplishment. Dallas in the lead. Pass to Sabali. Agun Mawale from the strike. Kept alive. He goes up again. He can't get that one to fall. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. Jones outside. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. Pass to Dangerfield. Sabali deflects the pass. Side Howard. There's the foul. It's on Howard. That's her first foul. First team foul. Teams first. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Now Burton. Deep Satu Sabali. One up, one down. Two points for the first shot in this game. They built a big lead very early. Boy, right from the tip, there isn't anything they haven't done well. It has been a textbook dominant performance. Now here's Robinson. Back to Durr. And so she draws the foul on the shot. That trip to the line to shoot two. Over the years, we've seen rules and format changes adopted by the WNBA that eventually end up in the NBA. Yeah, the W is really ahead of the NBA in those respects. How about the play-in tournament that we've seen that everyone loves in the NBA? It was inspired by the old WNBA playoff format. Lots of talk about, you know, maybe a mid-season NBA tournament, very similar to the Commissioner's Cup as well. The WNBA always at the cutting edge when it comes to pro basketball. And the first one at the line is good. Well, when Dallas traded away Skyler Diggins-Smith, one thing became very clear. This was Arike Ogumawale's team, and boy, has she ever stepped up as the face of the franchise. And so she hits both. 
Agunba Wale a steal in the 2019 draft, going fifth overall. A rookie of the year in that 2019 campaign, a first-team All-WNBA selection during her second year in 2020. Arike winning a scoring title in that wobble season, solidifying herself as the leader of the Dallas Wings. Four on the shot clock. Pass to Dickey. And Durr pulls it in. Here's Robinson. Shot from the wing. That shot off. And Dallas the other way now. Pass to Burton. Howard. This one for three. Hey. Out of bounds. It'll go to the three. Three ball. An eight-point differential. Now Billings. Outside, Robinson. To the inside, Parker. No good. Good D from Kalani Brown. Pass to Burton. Now here's Brown. Off to a good start as she hits her first shot at him. Using her lengthy wingspan to her advantage, Brown is able to dominate down low. And here's Durr. And it's blocked by Kaylani Brown. Excellent display of not just balance, but body control on that rejection. What a heads up play by Brown. It's Burton. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Here's Dickey. Guarded by Durr. Oh! Foul call that time on the way up. And that'll give her two chances at the free throw. First personal foul. Team's first. Second team foul. And this is her first free throw of the game. Dallas wins. Jasmine Dickey. Two shots. First one falls for her. Before the 2021 season, the dream had an ownership change. A welcome, fresh start for Atlanta. And so she makes both from the line. And interestingly enough, an ex-player is part of the new ownership group in Atlanta. Yeah, that's something I'd like to see more of going forward. Former players getting a chance to own teams. I think it would help the communication between the current roster and management. Durr shot is off. Here's Dickey. to Burton. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Robinson. Durr. They grab their own miss. Good. She's got a great read of where that miss was going and that enabled her to be the first player to it and get the foot back. It's Burton. Puts up the three. And it's Billings with the rebound. Pass to Durr. Robinson. Now Parker. She's covered by Brown. Parker. Good. An intimidating physical presence. Parker is at her strongest playing inside. 
And that concludes the first quarter of play. Wings out in front. They're up by eight. And the second quarter is on the way when we return. beginning in just a moment and looking at what we've seen from the wings what do you guys think some great defense on their part so far in this one they've really worked well as a unit to help on drives and rotations Howard with the ball pass to coffee Billings. Now here's Jones. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. First team foul. Into the lineup for Atlanta. Alicia Gray. Six to shoot. There's a screen. Shoots over Agumbo Wale. Another shot. And it's Hillman missing. Dallas in the lead. And here's Dangerfield. Pass to Agumbo Wale. Quarter number two, and we're just about a minute in. Yes, it's good. He got caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance points. They need more effort than that on the boards. That can't happen. Absolutely. Now here's Jones. Pass to Gray. Back to Howard. Now here's Gray. Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. Well, at 6'7", Tierra McCowan certainly makes the most of her frame. In each of her first three years in the league, McCowan led the league in offensive rebounds. Now here's Akumba Wale. She's got five. The three ball. And it's Atlanta with the rebound. Outside Howard. Pass to Coffee. Back to Howard. Hits it out to Jones. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. And McCowan grabbing those offensive boards. What a luxury that is, really, for any team. So when you have someone like McCowan, you can turn misses into makes. Get those bonus second chance points. Just the threat of McCowan on the O boards. It also collapses to D, and that opens up things for others. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Now here's Jones. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Now, Gumbawale. Three minutes of action thus far in the second quarter. Dangerfield outside. Agumba Wale. Screen by McCowan. Shoots over Jones. And there are the wings with another bucket. We talk about players drafted and entering the league in the late 2010s. Enrique Ogobanwale is one of the few who still uses the mid-range. Now here's Howard. Jones outside. Faked in off the glass. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. Dangerfield outside. Up top of Gumbawale. Kicks it out to Dangerfield. Agumbawale. A 
Imbawale is doubled. And the layup's good off the glass. And that'll raise their field goal percentage even more. They're enjoying a big edge in that category. And that's because they've been playing smart basketball. They've been very patient offensively, and their shot selection has just been great. Such a high IQ on this team. Here's Jones. And can't cash in from close range. Here's Jones. Gray defending. Pass to Gumbawale. Gumbawale is double. Danger field. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. She can time her passes so perfectly. What an assist. And it's so nice. we got to see it twice. How about that mobile one drive? But with the lead that they've built, time out, time you out. might think they start to settle, but they're still going hard at the rack. Atlanta calls timeout. Atlanta has possession. It's a 14-point game. Jones outside. Dangerfield with the steal. Outside, Agumawale. Hits it from three-point range. The type of player who'd rather get an assist than a hoop. Dangerfield with a sweet beat. Atlanta with the ball. Pass to Coffee. And here is Gray. Parker with the screen. A drive by Alicia Gray. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. Dallas with the ball. A 17 point lead, and it's their biggest. Power, that's good. And now this is just getting ridiculous. They can't possibly keep this up much longer. When was the last time they missed, Tim? This is just a remarkable shooting display. They're putting on a clinic. Now here's Howard over McCowan. Here's Parker. That's good, and it's Ryan Howard with the assist. Quick and agile. Parker can do damage in the pick and roll. Three by Howard. Agun Bawale with it. Coffee covering. Howard, that's good. Well, that pick, it worked like a charm. A nice job taking it right to the 10 for the layup. Atlanta with the ball. Trailing by 19. Well, on the wing, Alicia Gray. No good on the three. The 2010s, a very eventful decade for this Dallas franchise. At the, at the start of the 2010s, they had just moved from Detroit to Tulsa. Then they moved again from Tulsa to Dallas in 2016. Hits the three-point bomb. Check out Sabli on the catch and shoot right there. No hesitation at all. Completely focused on the basket. And that's how you have to be. Now here's Howard. 
Jones outside. Pass to Howard. From about 10 feet out, drained for two points. And for this Wings organization, unfortunately, they struggled in the 2010s. Yeah, just one season with a winning record, but now that they've settled in the Big D, they are much more comfortable in Texas. So I expect the 2020s to be much more fruitful for the Wings. From 2017 to 2020, in a four-year stretch, Natasha Howard winning three championships, getting her first ring in 2017 with Minnesota, then two titles with Seattle in 2018 and 2020. And the first one drops. And it's no coincidence that Natasha Howard has won three titles in four years. Well, obviously, defense matters so much in this league. And Howard is a defensive player of the year. Her length has a big effect on opponents. And she's just such a tremendous competitor. So she gets them both. Someone who affects winning. Natasha Howard makes an impact on each team that she plays for. That's why she's won a few titles. Outside Durr. Back to Robinson. To the paint. Now here's Durr. D right on her. He can't get it to go. Outside Sobley. Pass to Dickey. Five to shoot. It's Burton. Robinson covering. Burton can't hit. And if they're going to make a run, there's no time like the present. Well, we certainly expected a better game than this. It really has not been a pretty picture. And stolen by Satu Sabali. Pass to Burton. Here's Howard. It's in, and she's a very efficient five for six on the game. A worker's mentality. Howard crashes the O-boards, looking for second chance points. Now Billings. Here's Parker. Now Billings. Down to five on the shot clock. Durr. Shoots the three. And it's rebounded by Satu Sabo. She can't get anything to drop. And the way she's going, it's probably not something she should try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. You know, the last thing they want to see her doing is shooting it more. Here's Dickey. Pass to Sabo. Yep, that goes. <laughs> so smooth for her size. Sobley is certainly an effective pick-and-roll player. Now Billings. Outside Robinson. Now here's Parker to stop the drought. Satu Sobley comes up with the board. And here's Burton. Pass to Dickey. Brown. Here's Howard. Shoots from eight. And there are the wings with another bucket. And as they continue to dominate, you wonder just how much higher this lead might get. And it really could get out of hand because their defense has been just as excellent as their offense. Great overall game. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Wings out in front, running away with it. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half.
Hello and welcome back. Third quarter just about to get going and what has been a runaway of a game so far. You know, Howard has just been exceptional here, fellas. How about her scoring in the first half? She looked like a, a very different player today, an elite player. Yeah, and she's been a, a pleasant surprise for them, that's for sure. She really hit on something that worked in those first two quarters. And as we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close. And we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third started. Well, in recent drafts, have you seen any steals? You know, players maybe taken after the first round that stick out to you? Marina Mabry, I mean, she went in the second round back in 2019, and she's turned out to be a knockdown shooter. Every single team wants players to knock down threes. And from the 2018 second round, Maisha Hines Allen has been fantastic. A big who can shoot it. She's finished top 10 in scoring for a season before. And just really incredible value outside the first round. Parker, guarded now by Agunga Wale. So it's Dallas now. Down low. And that one's good. Sabali. Using her length to find her shot inside. Sabali is a real threat on the interior. Jones inside, started by Dangerfield. And you can count it, she'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. First team foul, wings foul. Looking back at the Atlanta franchise, they had an incredible run from 2010 to 2013, making the WNBA Finals three times in four seasons. During that dream run of WNBA Finals appearances, they never quite could get over the hump and grab a title. But man, those teams were special. Well, on that uh, 2013 team that lost in the finals, the dream had future all-stars like Jasmine Thomas, Tiffany Hayes, Alex Bentley, uh, just a loaded roster. Now here is McCowan. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And when you talk about McCowan, you start with her rebounding. Led the league in advanced board metrics, those advanced rebound numbers during her rookie year. Pass to Gray. McCowan with the steal. Here's Dangerfield. Stolen by Jones. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Now here's Gray. Jones, pass to Howard. Clock at six. Parker with the screen. Shoots over Sabali. That one a little long. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. Inside. Left block shot on the way. And there's the bucket as Howard finishes it off. Tonight, Howard has been playing hard and getting big results. Her performance is also firing up her teammates. Left side, Howard. Pass to Gray. Jones with it. And here's Coffey. The three-pointer off the mark. Outside of Wale. Now Dangerfield. Back to Gumbawale. Using the post moves to get the two points. Sweet looking move from Wale. She does a good job of using her handles to create good looks for herself. That was a second look at our Mobile One drive. Amazing control on display. That's how you have to play. They're still going hard, and that kind of energy and effort is how they built this lead. Now here's Gray. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Jones outside. For McCowan. Here's 
Parker. And that's good. A nice job on the glass, and they pick up the two on the second effort. A relentless attitude. Parker commits herself to the boards whenever she's on the court. Now here's Sabaly. She's got 10. Count it. She's up to her usual trick, shooting it well, scoring a lot of points, getting them in front. Atlanta with the ball. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Pass to Jones. Back to Howard. Three-pointer. It's good from long range. They've got to watch out for Howard on those corner threes because she will live in that spot all game long if they let her. Agun Bawale with it. Howard's there. Outside, Sobley. Howard, Gray defending. There's a screen by McCowan. The shot by Dangerfield, no good. Jones outside. Pass to Howard. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Natasha Howard. That is her first foul of the game. The Dream making a switch here. Substitution on the court. Jones inside. Guarded now by Agumba Wale. Just five on the clock. Back to Jones for three. Satu Sabali comes up with the board. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice there. Yeah, not very good defensive coverage that time. The D got lucky. Now here's Agumba Wale. 14 points for her. Here's Howard. Oh. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. That one on Howard. Well, because Howard is such a handful inside, sometimes the defense just decides to foul her. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. Well, the Wings have been in Dallas since 2016, but before that, they had two other stops as a franchise, joining the league in 1998 in Detroit, and then a move to Tulsa in 2010. She's perfect from the line this time. Going back to when the Wings were in Detroit, they had so much success. Winning three titles in Motown, just like the bad boy Pistons of the late 80s and early 90s, their hallmark was tough defense, taking on the identity of their city. Pass to Burton. Green by Howard. Goes up from the top of the key. And another miss by Dallas. Gray outside. Looking to end her cold spell. Hillman. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. Over the last few seasons, the average salary of WNBA players has significantly risen. The average salary in 2022, it's more than the maximum salary in 2017, just five years earlier, which is a great, great sign for the league. That's key for many reasons. The less players that go overseas, the less injuries we will see. And that starts with salaries in the WNBA. He's off on the first. In terms of the history of the Atlanta Dream, they went 4-30 and 30 in their expansion season back in 2008. However, the good news, they won the lottery for the 2009 draft. That one is no good. And winning that 2009 lottery meant that the Dream could select Angel McCautry with the first overall pick. Yeah, Angel helped turn things around quick in the ATL. 
In her first season, the Dream went to the playoffs. In her second season, Atlanta was in the WNBA Finals. McCautry really is the greatest player in Dream history. Pass to Burton. Here's Brown. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And here are the Dream. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Hillman, that's good. I like how Gray plays with her head up and scans the floor. To me, that's always going to be a recipe for success. It's Burton. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Jones. Shoots from eight. And it's Billings with the rebound. Here's Gray. Soft touch off the glass. With the wide array of offensive moves, Gray will pretty much make you pick your poison when you're guarding her. Pass to Burton. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Here's Jones. And here's Burton. Guarded by Durr. Over to the wing. From the arc. Green with the rebound. And the foul called on Kuia. That's her first foul. First personal foul, team's first. Fourth team foul. Checking in for Dallas, Jasmine Dickey. To the middle. Here's Gray. A beautiful reverse layup. Her quickness and soft touch around the rim, it allows her to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in the arsenal. Over to the left wing. Brown with it. Just five to shoot. Burton. Looking to end the drought. But they'll get another chance. And a foul on Gray. That's foul number two for her. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Burton. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Over Robinson. They get it back. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. A powerful player who's a handful for any defender. At times, all you can do is foul Brown. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. Free throw is good. Always great to see bigs who can hit from the charity stripe. And Brown definitely fits that mold. Both good at the line. Now here is Robinson. Outside Durr. Parker up top. Pass to Hillman. And Atlanta, another bucket. Heads up play by Parker. Wasn't able to find her own shot, so she kicks it to someone who was ready to attack. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now here's Kuia. Inside, Burton. And she uses the glass on the layup. 
a great possession. Kuia working into the wide open teammate. I mean, that's a nice trip down the floor. Here's Robinson. Good D from Kalani Brown. Now Burton. One second left. And it doesn't go for her. That's the and three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. It's the wings opening a huge gap. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. Well, I'm so happy we get to see this pass just one more time. A magnificent feed. You love to see the two uh, kind of taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, that is some dime dropping, guys. Accurate and on time. And we're getting underway in the fourth quarter. That scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things can change. Pass to Dickey. Here's McCowan. Six on the shot clock. There's a screen by McCowan. Offline from top of the key jumper. And so here's Atlanta. Here's Mike Sell. Pass to Hillman. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's going to go on Sierra McCowan. Shooting for Atlanta. Naz at the line for two. No good on that one. So she comes up empty at the line. Here's Dallas now. And here's Dickey. The layup off target. Outside dirt. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. The 11-footer. The rebound by the wings. Well, for what's a routine shot, she looked a little nervous on that release, wouldn't you say? Now Dickey. And she banks in the layup. The defense cannot forget about her like that. If you do, she will light you up. Fourth quarter now, we're just about a minute and a half in. Here's Robinson. Hillman. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and she'll shoot one more at the line. They're enjoying a commanding lead. And you know the best part? It gives them an opportunity to, to give their starters a rest. Yeah, they might not have to come back in. Here's Dickey. Makes it off the glass. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Now here's Coffee. 
Here's Mike Sell. Pass to Jones. And here's Hillman. From outside the arc. Dangerfield pulls it in. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a great habit to get into, letting her get that wide open. And the basket is good. Well, for a player who is 5'5", five, five, like Dangerfield, the floater, that is a must-have in your toolbox. Pass to Mike Sell. Hillman. Over Kuia. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Here's Dickey, defended by Coffey. Now here's Dangerfield. Makes the bucket. He's now got five field goals. Five for eight on the game. Good job to create easy bucket. Coffey outside. Back to Jones. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Mike Sell. Hillman, guarded by Dangerfield. Jones outside. Takes the three. Jones with the rebound. Not a whole lot going down for her. She can't catch a break. Dangerfield. Goes back up. And it's Kuia missing. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Jones. Kuia comes with the double team. Here's Jones. To the paint. To end the drought. Great D that time from Kuia. Field outside to the inside. Here's Kuia. A rebound by Hillman. Jones with it. Here's the pick. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. And they're making this a runaway. Yeah, the only question here for us to follow is how big. Uh, the lead will eventually become. Here's Dangerfield outside. Gets it to go from downtown. I want to make it as a, a WNBA player at the guard position. You need a deep shot like Dangerfield. Jones outside. Hillman. Pass to Mike Sell. And here's Hillman. Shot clock at six. Now here's Jones. Guarded by Dangerfield. That misses off the backboard. That's a shot she's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. Down low, Dickey. And she lays it straight in. Just really good awareness right there on the assist. Pass to Mike Sell. Here's Hillman. Coffee outside. Mike Sell. The three. That one is off. So Dallas will take it the other way. And here's Dickey. Here's Dangerfield. Can't get it to fall. Now here's Coffee. To the middle. Well-timed pass and goes straight to the bucket for the layout. That's just fundamental basketball from Coffey. Nice job spotting the open teammate. Pass to Dickey. Kicks it out to Dangerfield. Now Dickey. Oh. 
Second shot opportunity, and she lays it up and in. But when it comes to size, that's not a great one-on-one -on -one matchup for her. Well, you wouldn't know it with that finish. That took a little creativity right there. A little extra sauce on it. Now here's Coffee. Here's Mike Sell. Puts up a three, and that one's good. Coffee. Well, this is why Coffee's on the team. Stretch the floor and knock him down. Now Dangerfield. Pass to Jones. Dangerfield with it. Here's Jones. To the wing on the left. Leans inside. Here's Dangerfield. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Zero fear from Dangerfield. Mixing it up down low. And here are the dream. Pass to Hillman. Here's Mike Sell. Now Jones lets it go from deep. They get the rebound. The second chance effort, and Number she seven. sinks the layup. Assisted. That pass Jones. led her so perfectly, she didn't even have to break stride. Pass to Jones. Dangerfield. And there's the pick. And there are the wings with another bucket. With such a smooth jumper, Dangerfield is a guard who can really fill it up. Back to Jones. Inside. Great D that time from Kuya. Well, they call them layups for a reason. It's uh, not easy to miss that close to the rim. Pass to Jones. And here's Dickey. Luia with it. Shot clock at five. Green with the rebound. Mia yeah, Coffey goes in, and she drops in the layup off glass. What a slippery drive by Coffey, getting to her shot before the defense can cut her off. It's two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Kuia. Dangerfield outside. The three is up. The shot comes out. And here is Jones. And so it's Dallas easily grabbing this one. They won this game going away. They were better basketball team by far. You gotta commend this sort of dominance here at home and feeling great. Playing well nearly the whole game. I, I could feel it. This building was pumped, guys. And that'll wrap it up.